Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4 on the PS4. Uh, so, for this one, I'm going to be uh, hunting down the railroad and joining up with them. I've pretty much done everything I can for the Brotherhood at this point. So I'm going to focus on these guys, because these guys have a few quests and whatnot for me to do. Ah. Vault 114. Vault 10. Indeed, too. Just under halfway there. That's pretty good. Considering I've only done, like, one quest. And I'm already nearly halfway. So, yeah. I'm going to be... Carrying on now with... I'm going to do this railroad... Uh, quest probably take two two episodes maybe, and then I'm pretty much in with all the main factions, and I can. Uh, damn it! I wanted it to be light. I wanted it to be daytime. Okay, I think I'll follow these guys. I think I'll follow. Oh, this is the one I have to follow, isn't it? This is the Freedom Trail. Two and A. I don't want to fight a super. I don't want to fight super mutants if I can help it. These guys are a pain in my ass. Ah, cool. Now a six and an O. I've totally cocked this up, haven't I? Um, Alright, let's carry on. I don't know what kind of dog this is. Things just survived like 40, 60 rounds. This might not be good. I have a feeling I'm getting really close to a... a super mutant stronghold.
I can just break all these apart really when I get back to Sanctuary, so it's not too bad. I need to repair my suit too. Okay, I'm not stopping. Run! Oh shit, it's one of those guys. Carries the freaking nuke with him. Oh. That's all kind of weirdness, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna go this way. Yeah, you'd think this wouldn't be so difficult, would you? But the amount of bloody super mutants I've run across now. Alright, I think this is it. My suit is really in desperate need of repair right now. Especially if I want to come across any more super mutants. When I walked in here, part of me was like, why would there be dangers in here, considering it's presumably the railroad's headquarters, but nope, never mind. Just feral ghouls everywhere. Reload. Yeah. That's about the only thing this gun can actually take out. It's a feral ghoul. Try and shoot a dog with it. Like a, fe like a mongrel or whatever those things are. Nope. Takes the entire clip. And then the next one. And then the one after that. Well, I'm not even pressing the buttons. It's literally I'm pressing them so fast the thing has to catch up with me. Uh,
Okay, let's keep going. No, ah, uh, damn it. Okay, so D. Boom. Because it really didn't take a genius to know that the secret password is railroad. treachery and hunters we're the synths only friends we're the railroad so answer my question I followed the freedom trail looking for the railroad I'm not your enemy if that's true you have nothing to fear who told you how to contact us I just heard a rumor about you guys in Diamond City I see. I'm Desdemona, and I'm the leader of the railroad. And you are? Deacon, where have you been? You're having a party. What gives with my invitation? I need intel. Who is this? Wow. Newsflash, boss. This guy is kind of a big deal out there. Do we know each other? I didn't need to meet you to hear about you. You have made waves. The Brotherhood of Steel let you into their ranks. That's a hell of a thing there. And, as if that wasn't enough, Des, he's the one that cleared Fort Strong for the Brotherhood. He's one of their main knights or something. So you're vouching for him? Yes, trust me. He's someone we want on our side. That changes things. So, stranger, why did you want to meet with us anyway? My son, Sean, was kidnapped. I'm looking for help to find him. Someone stole your boy? That's terrible. Do you know who did it? For your sake, I hope the Institute isn't involved. Why would the Institute be involved? Many kidnappings in the Commonwealth are perpetrated by the Institute. Why? Who knows? But I've never heard of them taking children. So hopefully they're not involved. I'll have Deacon look into this. If anyone can find a lead on your boy, he can. If we're going to be dealing with you, I need to make sure we're on the same page. You know what a synth is, right? Yeah, I know all about them. Good. The Institute treats synths as property, as tools. Why does the Institute treat them that way? They're playing God, tinkering with things they don't fully understand. From that lofty vantage, it's easy to deny their creation's very humanity. That sounds like slavery. Exactly. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage. Give them a chance at a real life. I have a question. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man? Even if that man is a synth? Once, I pledged my life to protect my countrymen. I don't see this as any different. Well said. We'll do what we can to look into your missing boy. What the Institute has done to your family and others is what drives us. Normally, you're exactly the type of person we try and recruit. But right now, we don't have the time to train up a new agent. There are, however, other valuable ways you can contribute. And in turn, we can help you. See Deacon for details. You're free to go. All right. 
Hope you didn't mind the reception. When you tango with the institute, you gotta be careful when Oops. Sorry. Uh there you go. Hey, and did I level up? Ah, oh, that's so close. Do you really have to be so cagey? Seems charms at a premium down here. The precautions are necessary. In our business, if we underestimate our enemy's capabilities, it's game over. But it's all good now. I vouched for you, nobody got shot. Still, I would consider it a close personal favor if you didn't sell us out to the Institute. Thanks. So tell me, why did you vouch for me? In our little outfit, it's my job to know things. And with everything you've done, it's clear you're capable. A dangerous enemy. And I'm betting a valuable ally. But why the trust? You can't be taking it all on faith. I've heard a lot of things about you. Enough to want to give you a chance. So Des wants me to make you a tourist. That's what we call someone who helps out with the odd job here and there. What a waste. I'm just going to come out and say this. The railroad needs you. You sure you need me? Desdemona didn't seem to care. She's just thinking of the time and manpower it would take to train you. And if you were some hick from the burbs that didn't know your ass from a rocket launcher, she'd be right. But I'm betting someone like you just needs a few pointers. And a target. You got my attention. I got a job. Too big for me, just perfect for the two of us. You help me out, we turn a few heads, and then Dez invites you into the fold. Then, if you get into a bind and need some help, your buddies in the railroad got your back. What's the job? So, up front, the only thing I'll say is that it's going to be a wild and dangerous ride, but probably nothing new for someone like you. Sign me up, then. Perfecto. Let's meet up at the old freeway outside of Lexington. I'll fill you in once you get there. All right. Hey, you, uh, got a sec? Uh, sure. Of course, Nick. What's up? I wouldn't normally bother you with this sort of thing, but, uh, well, I know I can trust you at this point. For as long as I can remember, I've been getting these uh, flashes, memories of places I've never been, things I've never seen, memories of Nick's. They're not bad, they're just, uh, they're just this inescapable reminder that I'm not the person I think I am, that I'm not a person at all. I'm just a machine, pretending to be human. think you feel you're more than pretending Nick yeah, nice of you to say but your kind don't usually have to deal with someone else's whole life trapped inside their skulls don't get me wrong I know I'm in Nick's debt these memories they've, they've kept me alive Nick was a hell of a cop a guy with good instincts and a good heart I always counted myself lucky they didn't load me up with some ex-con or Whatever type might volunteer to let folks tinker with their gray matter. But it's thanks to Nick that I pass for human. Why I get to live cushy in Diamond City, and every other synth is shot on sight. I know I got it good, but... My entire life, I owe to Nick. Everything that makes me who I am. My judgment, my speech, hell, even my name. They're his. And I can't do a damn thing about it, because without them, without them, I'm nothing. A shell. All I want is a life where I have something I can call my own. You've already built a life for yourself, Nick. You've got the agency, a home, friends. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. You know, I, I'm just going to need some time to think on this. I appreciate you hearing me out. You're a, you're a real good friend. Thanks. All right. I'm going to drop by this chunk of Nick Valentine history. I've been hoping to put a bow on for a while now. I could use a hand if you're willing to take a crack at it. Sure thing. What's the case? Well, this one's straight out of the arc. Once upon a time, in the land of Boston, there lived a king of organized crime, Eddie Winter. He was a bad man who did a lot of bad things, hurt a lot of innocent people, 
but he knew the end was coming. So he sealed himself inside a personal shelter, located underneath the sub shop he used as a headquarters. There's more to this, isn't there? The story gets even more twisted. The arrogant bastard wanted a cheap death, live forever, so he could come out of that shelter someday into this brave new world. Sound familiar? Only Eddie didn't want to be a frozen banana. No cryo sleep for him, no. He invested his money in some sick, crazy radiation experiment. You don't mean to tell me he used that radiation to... That's right. Eddie Winter went and turned himself into a ghoul. 200 years before it was fashionable. Hell, he was probably the first one. And I'm convinced that he's still locked inside that shelter. Safe and sound ready to come out and begin his evil reign all over again. I'm gonna find him and kill him, so that never happens. You in? Yep. Uh, first of all... I don't get it, Nick. Why kill Eddie Winter, even if he is still alive? This sounds like some kind of vendetta. I've got memories. The girl. My girl. They're not really my memories, I know that. They're Nick's. But the girl, she was real. She was beautiful and innocent. And Winter killed her. Now he's got to pay the price. So, knowing that, are you in? Yep. All right, Nick. Let's get the bad guy. You're a good man. Now, I know where Winter's vault is, but the door is sealed with a complex numerical code. Lucky for us, Winter's arrogance knew no bounds. Back in the day, he recorded ten holotapes, incriminating different criminal associates. On each one, he hit a single number. We find all of those holotapes, we get all the numbers. We get all the numbers, we get the code. And then we get Winter. I've been putting together a file on this one for a while now pair of holotapes in here worth listening to, uh, including one of Winter's I managed to snatch from the Cambridge Police Evidence Lockup before getting swarmed by Feralds. On my way out the door, I spotted an active evidence terminal. Bet my hat that terminal is the key to finding the rest of the tapes. Probably worth revisiting any police departments you may have stumbled across in your travels as well. Okay. Right, I think I'm gonna head back to Sanctuary quickly, just to uh, repair the suit of armor. Because if I'm going to be fighting the Institute, I don't want to be fighting it with a half-broken suit of power armor. And it means, uh, yeah, it should mean as well that I'm not that far from where I gotta go. Somewhere in Lexington. Not 100% sure where exactly, but... I know I've been... I know I, know I got Concord fast travel to. I'm not sure what Lexington exactly. But, uh, let's check the map then. Ah, that's not too bad, I guess. I can always just go to Walden Pond and then go straight down. Uh, first of all, though, Sanctuary. How are doing, For some reason, as well, I'm not getting. Uh, I'm not getting, like, settlers like I should be. Like, I've set up the recruiting post thing, the tower, radio tower, but I'm not attracting settlers, like, you know. At, at a steady rate. I still got only, like, a handful of them. I should be in double digits by now. Grown attached to a weapon. Okay, so I'll get out of this. You are tied to this place. Your energy. What the? I used to live here. A long time ago. Ah, but the distant past ain't so distant for you. 
I saw you leave that icebox. This whole world is like some bad dream you can't wake up from, isn't it? The site can help you, kid. It always has answers. Just gotta bring me some jet so I can see what it wants to tell you. What's jet? It's a little inhaler that packs a big kick. They say it makes you move faster, but at my age, it's more of a quick rush. The chems fuel the site, so it's not always gonna be jet I'm asking for. But that's what's on the menu this time. Maybe. Let me think it over. Well, ain't like I'm going anywhere. The site will be here when you need it. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about giving an old woman drugs. Anyway. Back I go. And right, so. Oh, craft. Yeah. Uh, repair. I think I'll repair the whole thing. Jet pack, self by reactive plates. Ah, that's cool. Ten copper, though. Wow. All right, I'll work on uh, some of these then. Science perk is handy, it seems. Headlamp. Can I change? Oh, I need science again. Oh, okay. So, science is a big thing. Alright. Uh, this is right. Okay, level up. Um, yeah, it's maybe a little 20. Uh, no, it's maybe a little 23 for that one. I got that one. Yeah, okay, I'll go for science. I got enough for that. Uh, that's not too bad. Alright, let me travel to thingy. Okay, so my timer thing just went off, so I've been like, I bit the uh, the amount of time I sort of give for these videos. So this has basically been about me getting to the railroad and starting that. The next episode is going to be me uh, meeting up with Deacon and uh, doing this first quest that they've given me. 
Hope you're all enjoying the episode, uh, of enjoying the episode rather, and enjoying the walkthrough in general. Hope you're enjoying the commentary as well. Uh, if you could be so kind as to leave a like, hit the comment section below with anything you like and I'll try and get back to you. And uh, possibly hit that subscribe button to keep up to date. All of which will help a great deal. For now though, that's pretty much it. So until next time, you take care.